previous chapter, that's in chapter 3, when he was baptized in water, as he was coming out, the Holy Ghost in the form of a dove lighted upon him. And then the voice of the Father spoke from heaven. In chapter 3, verse 17, and a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately after following in a, the tempter is going to challenge that statement from heaven. Here we are, heirs of the kingdom. Here we are, citizens of the kingdom. Here we are, having the face of the kingdom. Here we are, having the authority, the authority of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, kingdom authority. Here we are, dedicated to kingdom service. Here we are, going on and moving on and everywhere we go everything we touch we move on with kingdom love here we are and we are possessors of the treasures of the kingdom and satan is going to challenge that it's going to bring temptation trial it's going to say if you are what you testify to be if you are a real child of god if you are truly sanctified, if you are an heir of the kingdom, then it's going to come with temptation. But thank God, Jesus overcame, and you are going to overcome. Somebody there said, Jesus overcame, and you are an overcomer. Look at this, verse 3. If that be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Look at the answer. Look at the victory. Look at the triumph. Look at the secret of triumph. Look at the source of triumph. And look at the supernatural power that backed up the words of Christ because it's the word of Scripture. Verse 4. And he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's how you overcame. That's how you are going to overcome. How did you overcome? He said, it is written. It is written. Jesus knew what was written. And what was written in particular about him. And he knew because of that, he could not fail. Search the scriptures. Look at the word of God. Look at the promises of God for the believer. And know the promise that is written concerning you. And when temptation comes, when trial comes, when the tempter, the temptress may come to you. You're going to quote that word and say, it is written. Look at the next one, verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple and saith unto him if thou be the son of God cast thyself down for it is reaching uh -huh. there are times the devil will also appeal to the Bible because Jesus had said it is reaching and he overcame him triumphed over him overpowered him overthrew him. He now went to the scripture to search for something and to make the scripture a source of temptation. You know, Satan will do that. He'll use somebody and the little scripture they know, they want to quote that and make that a source of temptation, a source of trial. Look at what he said in verse 6. And he says, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down for it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee and in their hands that they shall bear thee up lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone and Jesus said unto him don't go anywhere to look for victory your victory is in the word of God 
Your triumph is in the word of God. Your power is in the word of God. But seven, Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And now in verse 8, the devil came the first round. Jesus overcame. I will overcome. He came from the second angle. And Jesus overcame. I will overcome. He didn't stop there. Look at verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and says unto him look at this all these things will i give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me he said the kingdoms of the world they are in my hand the power the glory they belong to me Adam transferred them to me. And I know what you're looking for. They call you Lord. They call you Master. They call you King. I'll hand it over to you. On one condition, you fall down, you bend down, you worship me, everything will be yours. That's how Satan tries to capture people. That's how Satan tries to bring people under its rule money i can give you women i can give you popularity i can give you promotion i can give you name it whatever fall down and worship me do the ritual go through the ceremony get into the initiation and i will give you everything that's what he presented to christ Christ will not fall down before Satan. I will not worship him. I will not fall down before Satan. You say it for yourself. You let Satan hear. I will not worship Satan. Look at this in verse 10. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, the third time again, you overcame the devil because it is written. It says, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him. When Satan comes through this angle, he cannot get you. He comes through another angle. He will not get you. I thought you'll say amen there. Yeah. And he comes through another angle and he will not get you. Yeah. Satan will say, this one will not bend. This one will not yield. This one will not sin. This one will not compromise. This one will not fall. Bye-bye. Satan says bye-bye to you. Yeah. Then the devil leaveth him and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Do you know why Jesus overcame? Number one, he knew what was written. Number two, he knew what he possessed. Know those two things. Number one, what is written. You know, Jesus Christ always referred to that. Reaching, reaching. Look at Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. We're looking at verse 44. It says, And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things, how many things? I said, How many things? Church, let me hear your voice. How many things? He said, I told you, when I was here to watch you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were reaching. Look at that. 
all things written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. He knew all that have been written concerning him. Go to Genesis chapter 3, reaching concerning me. And go to Exodus, reaching concerning me. And he went through, and he always meditated on that in his heart. And when the devil came, it took him no time at all to just bring it out and said, It is reaching. And on the basis of what is reaching, he overcame. On the basis of what is reaching concerning you, you will overcome. Look at Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 17. Luke chapter 4 verse 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of Isaiah the prophet. And when he had opened the book, look at this, look at this. He found the place where it was written. You see, as you read the Bible, and you know that you're a believer, and you put your name, if you're a believer, put your name every time you find the believer who either believes, or the beloved, or the saint of God, or the heirs of the kingdom, and notice what is reaching concerning the believer. Notice what is reaching concerning the beloved. Notice what is reaching concerning the saint of God. Notice what is reaching concerning him and heir of the kingdom. Jesus knew what was reaching concerning him. And we're told he found the place where it was reaching. Verse 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to bring deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. He knew that all that was reaching concerning him and he acted according to what was reaching concerning him. And he spoke according to what was reaching concerning him. And he resisted temptation according to what was written concerning him. Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 7. In Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7, it says, Then said I, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book, it is reaching of me to do thy will, O God. And because he knew, he came to do the will of God. And that was reaching concerning him. He found it in the volume of the book. And it was reaching concerning him. Therefore, he was always overcoming. And if you'll always remember, Always meditate, always read in the Bible, always believe, always think about, always apply, always turn on the word that is reaching concerning you. Thank God you'll have a testimony. Thank God the power of God will work in your life in Jesus' name. Look at another side of the victory of Christ. The victory of Christ was based on the knowledge of what he knew he possessed. If you're a believer, and you're not looking at what is written concerning the believer, and you're not thinking about, look at what I have. Look at what I possess. Look at what abides in me. If you don't know what you possess, the devil will be trying to present something to you you already have. And because you don't know you have, you will fall for his trick. I'm talking to somebody that will not fall over there. I said I'm talking to somebody that will not fall. Look at Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 6. Luke chapter 4. Reading from verse 6. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, 
and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only, him only, him only shalt thou serve. Now the devil presented power and glory. And you think about Jesus, he knew himself, he knew what the Father had given him, he knew what he possessed already, and Satan was ignorant of that. And because of the ignorance of Satan, he said, look at it, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. I'll give it to you if you'll worship me. If you're ignorant, that's how the people of the world that's how the messengers of Satan, that's how the tempter, that's how the temptress, that's how the defiler, that's how they'll come to you and be presenting something to you that you already possess, you didn't know that you possess. Look at John chapter 3. John chapter 3. And we're reading from verse 35. John chapter 3, verse 35. The Father loveth the Son, and has given all things into his hand. Jesus did not need anything from Satan. The Father had given him everything. He possessed all things already. Look at John chapter 17. And I'm reading from verse 2. John chapter 17, reading from verse 2. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, not that it will be given. The Father has given him already. And Satan was coming. He thought that Christ was ignorant of what he possessed. If you're ignorant of what you possess, they'll pick a flower from your yard, from, your, from the back of your house, from your own garden. They plant that flower and it's from your garden and they present it to you. And there's a lot of flower still there in your garden. And you're not looking at your garden. You're not looking at what you have. You're not looking at your privilege. You're not looking at the promises you have. You're not looking at the, at the property that you have. And they come to present to you what you already have. And they say, I'll give you this beautiful flower. If you will just compromise, if you will sin, if you will do evil, get away, Satan. We have what we need. I said, We have what we need. Look at verse 2. As thou was giving him power over all flesh. That you should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Matthew chapter 28. Know what you have. Jesus knew what he possessed. That's why the gift coming from Satan, the presentation of Satan, and the thing Satan was saying, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you this, did not ring any bell. I did not uh, impress him at all. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. Jesus came and spake unto them saying, Somebody there tell me. Somebody there shout it out. How many forms of power? How many kinds of power? Any limitation to that power? All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Satan came too late. Christ possessed all that already. The same thing with the child of God. Know what belongs to you. And when you know what you have already, 
as an heir of the kingdom. The devil will not come and trick you into sinning against the Lord. Revelation chapter 11. Revelation chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 15. Revelation 11 verse 15. And the seventh angel sounded. And there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign how long? Forever and ever. And Jesus knew ultimately from the hand of the Father, all the kingdoms of the world will be handed over unto him. And so Satan coming with temptation. The temptation held no water. Didn't take root and didn't take hold on Christ. Because number one, he knew what was written. Number two, he knew what he possessed. Know who you are. I said know who you are. Do you know who you are? I said do you know who you are? You are an heir of the kingdom. All things are yours. All the precious promises of God are yours. Healing is yours. Deliverance is yours. Salvation is yours. Redemption is yours. Power is yours. Holiness is yours. Paradise is yours. Heaven is yours. Happiness is yours. And so Satan cannot come. There's something you don't have. There's something the Father has not given to you. There's something Christ has not made prov provided for you. I'm going to give you this. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. For the Lord has said, only God will I worship. Somebody there, only God will you worship. Point number two now. Our trust in his promise of kingdom triumph. Our trust in the promise of kingdom triumph. All we need is faith. You have faith, every mountain will move. You have faith, every sickness will be healed. You have faith, all the possessions you desire, you are going to have in Jesus' name. You have faith, angels will surround you. Your life will be protected. We we'll trust in his promise of kingdom triumph. Romans chapter 1, verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith you will live by faith you will not die you will triumph by faith you will not fall you will overcome by faith you will not be defeated you'll be victorious by faith in Jesus name look at um, Romans chapter 4, verse 17, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God, who quickness the dead, everything that is dead in your family, in your body, will have resurrection life today. And call it those things would be not as though they were. Call it those things which be not as though they were. Before you see them, confess them. Say them out. I have them already. And because I have them already, a tempter coming, come to a herbalist, come to a Jiju man, come to make some potion, some lotion, and then rub on you. And then people will love you. They will like you. They will come your way. Already heaven's love is upon your life. I said heaven's love is upon your life. And anyone that loves the Lord will love you. Anyone that does not love the Lord, what do you care about? Somebody is an enemy of God loving you. They are children of Satan. Let them get behind you. Who against hope believed in hope. That he might become the father of many nations. 
according that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be, so shall thy possession be, so shall thy blessing be. And be not working faith, be not working faith, that's all we need, faith in God, faith in God, faith in God, it will cancel the power of the tempter from your life in Jesus' name. You can see that not is somebody now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. That's how Abraham overcame. That's how you are going to overcome the promises of God covering every area of your life. You are not staggering at the promise of God through unbelief, but he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded, that's how to overcome. Being fully persuaded, that's how to overcome. You are fully persuaded that everything that is written concerning you, everything will be fulfilled. And so when a persecutor comes, and the persecutor is saying, submit and yield and give your soul to us that we can handle your soul, handle your destiny. If you don't, we're going to persecute you to the point of death. But you know the promise of God. Your destiny is not in the hand of Satan. I didn't have the amen I wanted. Your destiny is not in the hand of a persecutor. I will not be happy if I don't submit to them. I will not be happy if I don't surrender to them. I will not be happy if I don't yield to them. They want my soul. They want my destiny. They don't want me to be a man of decision. They don't want me to decide and say, this is where I'm going, and I'm going to get there. They say, any decision I take is not going to hold except I surrender to them. I say, no, I will not surrender my soul to anyone. Somebody there, I will not surrender my destiny to anyone. Your destiny is in the hand of the Almighty God. You will not yield to the persecutor in Jesus' name. You have the promise of God and you will not fear. You have the promise of God and you will not stagger. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised was able to perform Therefore, it was imputed unto him for righteousness. It will be imputed to you as well in Jesus' name. We have something. I said we have something. Somebody there, I have something. And because of what we have, you are going to enjoy what you have. Nobody will hinder you from enjoying what you have. Heaven has given them to you. Calvary has given them to you. The power of the Lord has provided everything for you. And nobody will stop the enjoyment of what God has provided for you in Jesus' name. You know what they say? You better cooperate. You better cooperate. We have all the power. That's a lie. No man on earth has all the power against your life. I'm talking to somebody there today. Your life is in the hand of the Almighty God. In fact, it says your life is hid with Christ in God. And they will not overpower you in Jesus' name. If you battle with them and you are not succeeding in your own strength, come. Come to me and come to any of our leaders. And if we agree as touching anything concerning you, it will be done in heaven in Jesus' name. Don't we know what we have? We have the power to bind and to lose. And that enemy of yours, and that enemy that is running after your life and after your family, if we bind them on earth, they are bound in heaven. 
if we lose and release the blessing of God upon your life, you are blessed in Jesus' name. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, we're looking at verse 9. But as it is written, I has not seen, no ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that what? For them that what? That love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit such as all things, yea, the deep things of God. Thank God you possess. Thank God you overcome. Thank God, power is yours. But you know, you must voice it out. You must say it out. Because it is in the same. What if when the tempter came to Christ and he said, do this, he kept quiet. And the devil nudged him again. Do this, and he kept quiet. You will not keep quiet. That's a time to speak. And that time to speak, the power of God will energize you and stir you up. The right word, like a stone out of the sling of David, will come out of your sling. You will defeat that Goliath. And every mountain will move from your sight in Jesus' name. But you must speak. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. We, having the same spirit of faith, according as, tell me, according as, tell me, I said according as, tell me, it is written. That's what you must confess. That's what you must bring out. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written. I believed, therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. I also believe. I also believe. Let the heavens hear you. I also believe. Let the tempters hear you. I also believe. Let the temptress hear you. I also believe. Let your persecutors hear. I also believe, therefore speak. And the word you speak will be performed in Jesus' name. The word of your mouth will not fall to the ground. The Lord will uphold that word in Jesus' name. First John chapter 2. First John chapter 2. Verse 13. Write unto your fathers. Because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. Any young man there? Any believer there? The Lord has seen you there. It says, I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I've written unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I've written unto you, young men, because ye are, because ye are, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and ye have overcome the wicked one. As we're going out, understand? You're going as an overcomer. You're going as a triumphant heir. And you're going as a mighty conqueror in Jesus' name. You will overcome. I will overcome. We shall overcome. 
the power of God will not fail in our lives in Jesus name point number three now is transfer of power for kingdom triumph is transfer of power for kingdom triumph has somebody ever transferred money into your bank account before if they have not they will do it now yeah. and heaven from the bank of heaven God is going to transfer something into your life yeah. you were weak before weakness will vanish away yeah. and let me as if you have no strength you have no blood all that anemia everything will vanish away in Jesus name you are in your thirties, they have coward you so much. You are bending down, you cannot look up. It's like the enemy, like a lion, is going to pounce on you. You will straighten up. You will square your shoulders. Because heaven is going to transfer power into your life today in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 40. I say, eh? chapter 40, you feel the power already. Don't you feel the power? In your heart, don't you feel the power? In your brain, don't you feel the power? In your blood, in your bloodstream, don't you feel the power? It's coming, it's coming. Power is being transferred into your life. You will never fall anymore in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 40. Verse 28, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Verse 29, verse 29, are you there? Are you there? He giveth power to the faith. He giveth power. He giveth power. Somebody shout, he giveth power. He giveth power to the faith. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Somebody there, I say you are strong. Somebody there, say I am strong. All the weakness in prayer, everything is gone. All the weakness of the past, everything is gone. Now there is power. Somebody there said there is power. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But I said, but somebody help me shout, but but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings like the eagle. You will fly over every mountain. You will fly over every river. Every uncrossable gulf, you'll fly over them in Jesus' name. Because they will mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and not be weary. That is the race that is set before you. This race that is set before you, you will not come last, you will come first. And as you are running this race, remember all the weakness of the past, all the failure of the past, everything is cancelled. Now you will run and you will not be weary. And you will walk and you will not faint. But looking at Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10, somebody there, you have something right now. I said you have something right now. You are going out as a possessor. You are going out as a partaker. And you are going out as a conqueror. Give me a church. Amen. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's in Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10. Look at this. I'm looking at it. Have you seen it? I said, have you seen it? 
you know sometimes when somebody wants to give you something and this is something beyond your comprehension and then there's a way you see it and it appears that you know the thing will not enter properly but when you want it to enter you want it to penetrate you stand up you say i'm ready give it to me I said you stand up and you say I'm ready give it to me somebody anybody ready there anybody ready for the transfer of power for the transfer of strength for the transfer of his spirit he says he says behold I give unto you power I'm getting something right now I'm receiving something right now behold I give unto you power from the throne of glory God is saying unto you I give unto you power and from the majesty and glory on high it says I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions don't let anything walk over you anymore and don't let any serpent any scorpion walk over you anymore you will tread on serpents you will tread on scorpions and over all the power 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 of the enemy you have conquered every enemy somebody there I have conquered every enemy I have conquered every enemy and nothing shall by any means sort you receive that power right now receive that power right now receive that triumph right now receive that authority right now say lord i receive lord i receive lord i receive lord i receive he has given you power the transfer of power his transfer of power for kingdom triumph transfer of power for kingdom triumph you will triumph you will overcome the devil will not overcome you the tempter will not overcome you the persecutor will not overcome you and whatever condition surrounds you that condition will not overcome you you have all power you have all power you have all power you have all power and it is yours you have all power and it is yours you have all power and it is yours don't cringe anymore don't crawl anymore don't be coward anymore don't be a coward stand up and stretching yourself up and square your shoulders and look the enemy in the face and look the persecutor in the face and say i have overcome i have overcome i have overcome i have overcome the power is there the promises are there you cannot fail you will not fall receive that power all the promises of god are yes and amen upon your life it's yours it's yours it's yours I possess I possess what you confess you possess what you confess you possess what you confess you possess I believe therefore I speak I believe therefore I speak victory in your soul victory in your spirit victory in your business victory in your christian life victory in your family victory for your children victory for the church victory for the heirs of the kingdom it's mine it's mine it's mine In Jesus' name we pray. 
Victorious people of God, victorious heirs of the kingdom, in Jesus' name we pray. You are victorious already. You are triumphant already. You are an overcomer already. You are more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. Raise up that hand for victory. Raise up that hand in victory. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you because Christ has overcome. And because he overcame, we too, we have overcome in Jesus' name. He overcame temptation, we overcome temptation. He overcame the tempter, we overcome the tempter. He overcame in every challenge of life, we overcome in every challenge of life. I pray, Lord, this faith and this confidence will abide permanent in every child of God in Jesus' name. As you go, you are at a crossroad, you have a challenge, persecutors lay up the ugly head, or temptation may rise up. Go in the strength of the Lord, be an overcomer in Jesus' name. When sickness comes, you have overcome already. Sickness will not cut short your life. Disease will not cut short your life. Satan will not cut your life short. Evil spirit, evil power will not cut your life short. You are protected in Jesus' name. The power to overcome every enemy. The power to overcome every challenge. The power to overcome every temptation, every trial, every sickness, every infirmity, every evil spirit. Receive in Jesus' name. As you go, the power of God will go with you. The presence of God will go with you. The anointing that breaks every yoke will go with you. You are no more like you were before. Now there is power inside you. You're on the race, you'll not be weary. You walk in the way of the Lord, you'll not be tired. And I pray that you'll come back next time with testimonies resounding in your mouth in Jesus' name. Victory for everyone. Triumph for everyone. Power for everyone. And Lord, I pray that everyone will have the testimony. He has made me a conqueror. He has made you a conqueror. He has made you an overcomer. Confirm it, Lord, in every life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we are here to worship God, hallelujah. We on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we are here to worship God. We on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we are here to worship God, hallelujah. We on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we are here to worship God. We on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we are here to worship God. Hallelujah. We on the mountain Zion, we on the mountain Zion, we are here to worship God. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, he liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Redeemer liveth, he liveth forevermore. Hallelujah. He liveth, he liveth, he liveth forevermore. I know my
my Savior liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Jesus liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. Hallelujah. I know my Redeemer liveth, I know my Jesus liveth, he liveth forevermore. You are the Lord that changeth not, 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 you are the Lord that changeth not. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 You are the Lord that. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 Oh, Father, you are the Lord that changeth not. Pass me not, O gentle Savior, yea, my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry, hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry while on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, 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 hear my humble, hear my humble cry. He is able, abundantly able, to deliver and to save. Our God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in Him, who trust in Him. Able, able. Abundantly able to deliver, to deliver, and to save. Able, able to deliver those who trust in Him, who trust in Him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver and to save abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him is able abundantly able to deliver to deliver and to save Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Blessed Jesus, come down, come and manifest your power. In our lives, in our midst, come and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest.
test your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. your power you make impossibility possible you make impossibility possible you make the impossibility possible you make impossibility hallelujah hallelujah he make impossibility possible he make impossibility Jesus He make the impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility. Hallelujah. God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, yes, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Lie. He is not a liar. Ah, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonder-working power in the precious Lord of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, power in the blood of the lamb power power there is power 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 in the blood of the lamb Power, power, wonder, working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can save, only you can heal. Only you can save, only you can heal, Jehovah. 
What no man can do, Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. The yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. 